our execution wasn't really there for we never got to it the way we did in game one after 20 minutes I felt like we got to our execution and um, had a lot better uh, better results as uh, because of that tonight we I mean I I saw high-end skill guys on both teams mishandling pucks or them bouncing over pucks and I don't know if it was ice circumstances or what tonight but uh, it was a man's game it was an in-your-face kind of you know battle of the wills and I think it they they got the better of it you got to you know give them some credit there but we need to be better as a group and uh, you know turn that tide at some point as well. You said it was a man's game. Did you feel the intensity kind of rub up a little bit from game one through two, the physicality pick up a little bit? Yeah, there were a lot more confrontations, I thought. Um, some of that might be due to guys trying to trying to pull the pin on the on the puck before it explodes uh, a little bit and taking a little extra time with that. But, um, you know, the quicker that puck moves, the tougher it is to finish, finish checks and... Um, we, again, we never got to that execution the way we did in game one, and you know, it, was, it was more of a coin toss tonight. They carried the play a lot more. I thought we had a couple chances there at the end of the third to, to grab that lead, but uh, didn't, and they got the, the win. Now it's a you know, best of five, and, and they've gotten home ice because they just got the split here. we got to go there and worry about what we do in game three to counteract and to get to our game a lot sooner, and uh, these, this is probably going to be not the last seesaw effect that goes on in this series. Two resilient teams, they made an adjustment and uh, pushed back, and now it's our turn. David, in circumstances such as that, when the puck is bouncing around and it's hard to string together a bunch of passes, how incumbent is it on the players away from the puck to make themselves available for, for an easier pass? Yeah, simplify. Uh, going north and support the puck, yeah, no question. And um, you know, I thought we complicated a few plays tonight where maybe just a, a puck to the net gets a goalie down or gets them turning facing their net and we can find a loose one, uh, maybe one too many passes or just trying to get out of our zone to try to connect on a pass to get going north. Uh, you know, they're on top of you and they don't give you anything for free, but if we can execute a few tape to tape before they're on top of us, maybe we're able to uh, to swing that towards our direction a little bit better the way we did game one. But it's one to one. We got to regroup. We got two days, a travel day and a practice day, and then game three in St. Louis is going to be uh, another great one. David, yeah, you guys are 6 and 2 on the road, so uh, go ahead. Uh, I, I don't think that's a hit we want in our game. I think it's uh, you know from behind, elevated into his head, into the glass. Um, you know, if that's a two-minute penalty, there's going to be a shortage of defensemen, I think, in the series by the end of it. But um, that's in somebody else's hands. That's something that I think if uh, if I'm making that hit, I'm probably uh, watching from the bleachers for a few. But we'll see what happens with uh, with their player. How big of a loss is he if, if, he's, if he's unable to go in? He's a heck of a player. He's uh, Obviously, he's in our lineup for a reason. But uh, we've had guys stepping up and got a few weight in the wings that are very capable defensemen as well if they need to be put into the lineup. And whenever he's healthy again, maybe game three, I don't know, um, then he'll be inserted, I'm sure. But uh, if he's not there, we'll miss him. But next man up, they're going to fill a hole, do a job the way we've had all year. And um, you know, these are character tests that we've relished the opportunity. and. This is another one to have. You're six and two on the road, so you guys are used to success in this postseason. Talk about the challenge you have ahead. Uh, I don't. I don't really get too much into our record in the past. We got to worry about 60 minutes, more like 20 minutes, or the first five minutes of that first period in their building. Um, you know, first Stanley Cup games in St. Louis in 49 years, so I'm sure it'll be ruckus and loud, loud and uh, lots of energy in the building, and we got to feed off that, use it to our advantage, and um, you know, try to make it quiet in there, and that's our job.